Okay, so I just got back from the ironing board, and as you can see, I turned the the stay, the exposed zipper stay, to the um, flip that to the the inside or the wrong side of the garment. But um, what we see on this back side or the inside is the the right side of the fabric, um, and we have this uh, seam allowance on the inside. All right. Um, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and place our zipper um, in this opening. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay my zipper down and I'm going to place the bottom of the zipper stop um, just right at the bottom of my opening that I have created for this exposed zipper. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that um, I want it, what I want to try to happen is I want this opening here the, where, where the zipper is now exposed, I want this to stay fairly consistent all the way to the top. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pin this in place and then slip stitch, um, slip stitch the, the, folded back, um, the folded back area to the actual zipper and then we'll come back to the inside and um, place that in, in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple pins in uh, just right along this edge so that I can get a good eye on it and make sure that, that I have consistent spacing between the folded edge of the fabric and the zipper teeth. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple pins in and then what this does is it allows me to um, to adjust that opening as I need. Now when I get to the top of the zipper um, what happens is it tends to the, the actual slider portion of the zipper uh, wants to um, cause my fabric to kind of turn a little bit and that's fine. Um, if you want to you can go ahead and unzip it and then you can just you know keep that consistency, that consistent distance from the folded edge uh, to the teeth opening. Oops, I don't think I got it through all my layers here. So again, we're, we're going through all the layers and just pinning, um, pinning the sample uh, to the zipper. Go ahead and just try to keep this in the camera frame for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and zip this back up. And just reposition this here. I think I need to put up pin down at the bottom of my um, my zipper opening just to keep that distance consistent also. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's um, that it's even on both sides. So it looks like the way that this is matching up is I might need to um, go ahead and just kind of shift shift these bottom pieces over then readjust um, the other side that I had just pinned down. It's kind of slippery here on this uneven surface so hopefully you guys will have better luck um, using a flat table as opposed to my uneven sewing table here. And maybe it'll work if we do them both at the same time, both, both edges here trying to keep it. We, we don't want the, we really don't want that folded edge to get caught up in the teeth for any reason, um, but we just want to get it as close as we can and just keep that distance consistent on both sides of that, on both sides of the teeth. Um, when it's closed, it's also called the ladder, the, la the zipper ladder. And especially when you do an exposed zipper like this, um, it's it's really important that you keep everything consistent because you can see everything and you can see all these. Um, you can see the 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 even or uneven spacing that will occur um, along this along the zipper teeth. So it's just it's really important that you kind of take the time to make sure that this is consistent 
um, on both sides of those of the zipper teeth or the zipper ladder um, because that's your your finished product here and then as you can probably tell um, we had there was a quarter inch seam allowance along the top of a zip on top of this neckline here so this would be folded down and we probably have to put um, some sort of hook and eye um, there at the top of the zipper just to keep everything closed alright so I think I got that all pinned in place so I'm going to go ahead and re-zip this up and depending where your pins are it could kind of shift them over a little bit then what you're going to need is you're going to need a hand sewing needle and uh, what we're going to do is we're actually just going to slip stitch um, the folded edge to the zipper and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come in from the underside and just start right at the bottom of this um, of where the, the zipper pull is and just um, have a knot going right in there to go ahead and start my knot and we've been doing the slip stitch quite a bit um, so I'm sure you guys are well familiar with how it goes but I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off and then finish up um, finish up off camera because you guys don't want to watch me hand sew this into place but I'll just do a couple to get you going alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to come up when I bring up my needle I want to try to come up um, right in that in that seam line from the bottom side and then what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing um, some some threads or some yarns on that zipper tape I'm kind of almost underneath of where my fold is going to lie I think I maybe have my my hand sewing thread a little too long it seems to be knotting up on me and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right back in opposite of where my my um, thread just came out and I'm going to run it along the the folded edge that's uh, folded over towards me and I'm just going to run my needle along that folded edge about a half inch go ahead and pull that through and I'm just going to go back underneath and grab a couple of those uh, yarns on the, the zipper tape and then go right back into the go right back into that fold line of the actual bodice not of the um, the exposed zipper stay so in case you were wondering kind of where this needle is going in at it's not going in into the the, the under folded side it's going into that top folded side of the actual bodice um, not of the the stay um, rectangular facing that is now to the inside of the garment all right now as you can see like I kind of gave it a good tug and um, we really can't see any of those slip stitches uh, that are that are underneath or that are within the that are holding this uh, zipper into place now so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish up this one stitch and then I'm going to go ahead and finish off camera so I'm just going back into that fold line and then I'm going to go ahead and take out this one pin don't be too quick to, to take out those pins just because they're really holding things into place um, then I'm just going to finish slip stitching up this side come back start at the bottom and slip stitch up the other side um, so when you get that complete um, you can start the next video and we'll just be doing some final stitching and then we'll be done